One of the big reasons people ride motorcycles is for the adrenaline rush. Yeah, baby! <laughs> That's good! Most people live pretty standard lives. You go work a job that has routine protocols and systems, you buy your food at the grocery store, and you have a little rectangle in your pocket that possesses all the information that humanity's ever known. Motorcycling is one of the few things that can be so easily implemented into your regular life that can provide you with a truly novel and exhilarating experience. Rarely in the modern world do individuals voluntarily put themselves in situations that experience the sort of fight or flight adrenaline rush that a motorcycle can offer you. Bikes allow you to experience a sensation of speed that is truly foreign to the human mind. Like biologically, we are not as a species designed to move through space at 186 miles an hour, but on a bike? you can get pretty damn close. Of course, there's fast cars or air travel, but on a motorcycle with nothing protecting you other than some riding gear, your own actions and the way in which you control the bike can be the difference between life and death. And yeah, that sounds a bit dramatic, but there's a lot of truth in that. It's hard to name any other experience you can have that triggers such a similar endorphin cocktail. Like sure, you can go skydiving or something, but you can keep a motorcycle in your garage and ride it whenever you please and have immediate access to an otherwise inaccessible feeling of speed and adrenaline. For better or worse, that adrenaline rush never really goes away, although it may become more difficult to attain. Even though I've personally ridden hundreds of motorcycles over the years, I'd be lying if I still didn't get butterflies every time I did a hard pull on my Turbo Busa. Holy shit! Owning a motorcycle is like having your own personal roller coaster. So, that's a big reason why people ride. And it's not just the adrenaline rush that comes from high-speed riding that's so intoxicating. There's also a feeling of focus and mindfulness that comes from riding a motorcycle. Riding a bike is an incredibly tactile and analog thing. In a world where everything's become super automated and digitized, cars have freaking threadless displays and basically drive themselves, riding a bike forces you to succinctly operate multiple controls at the same time while maintaining stability and control of your bike. Simultaneously manipulating the throttle, clutch, gearbox, and brakes becomes an instinctual behavior. The fluidity of these movements as you move the bike side to side through turns can automatically put you in a sort of zen-like state of focus. And in these moments, your mind is able to forget about all the mundane drudgery that can bog you down in daily life. As a new rider, this focus is necessary. You've got no choice but to forget about everything else than the task at hand, properly controlling your bike and not dying. And then over time, this state of focus becomes an automatic and instinctual response. This mental state is something that's become otherwise foreign for a lot of people, where the constant inundation from electronic stimuli like social media, endless marketing emails, and nonstop influx on truly made straight to Netflix shows can make you feel like a prisoner in a digital prison. Whereas on a bike, it's just you, the bike, and the open road, free of distractions and the relentless onslaught of technological shrapnel. If you find yourself suffering from this cultural ennui, motorcycling can truly be an antidote that not just allows you to do this, but forces you to tune out all of the noise and focus on the immediate task at hand. We can't talk about the psychology of motorcycling without talking about the freedom, baby. There's nothing quite like the feeling of the wind blowing through your skull and crossbones Americana flag do-rag as you ride your hog through the hills of South Dakota. Jokes aside, motorcycling can not only provide you with that elusive sense of calm and focus that can be hard to attain in modern life, it also allows for a sense of freedom that is similarly absent in many people's lives. While having a job and relationships and pets and responsibilities can be considered a privilege most of the time, there's an incredible freedom that comes from the autonomy of motorcycling. Motorcycling in itself is a solitary act. Even when you're riding with other people, you're the one completely in control of the situation. When you're piloting your bike, you make the rules and whatever you say goes. Ice cream for dinner? You're an adult, you can do what you want. Pop a wheelie in front of Applebee's? Why not? Who's gonna stop you? The police? There's a reason that motorcycling has always carried a degree of rebellion. It's why it's often coincided with an outlaw image, because there's that sense of personal autonomy when you're on a bike, where you do really feel like you're in control and unstoppable. There's also a physical freedom. You're not, of course, boarded up in some four-wheeled cage like a zoo animal. You aren't suffocated by the frou-frou sissy safety features like seat belts and airbags. No way, dude. It's just you, your bike, and your constitutional rights. You're a sovereign citizen, and there ain't nothing quite like it, man. But jokes aside, the freedom that comes from riding a bike is one of the greatest ways to experience the world around you. 
You've got the wind at your chest, the sun at your back, you can smell everything, you feel everything, it's just the best. On a motorcycle, you have the freedom to navigate traffic in ways that are unattainable on a car as well. You're able to accelerate and stop more quickly, you're small and nimble, and you can move through gaps in traffic with ease. There's nothing quite like filtering up to a red light during a stop and go traffic situation that makes you really appreciate the freedom you have on a bike. While motorcycling can offer you new ways to experience freedom, it also grants you to a sense of community. American culture, especially for younger generations, is becoming increasingly isolated and solitary. People go to school online, work jobs online, and even make friends online. And if you're chatting online with babes all day, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. You can start to feel pretty lonely if you don't feel like there's a community you belong to. Gen Z is currently suffering from what many have been calling the loneliness epidemic, where studies showed that 73% of Zoomers said they feel alone sometimes or always. Gen Z is also the most risk averse generation yet, where avoidance of drinking, parties, and having premarital relations all seem to correlate with a greater sense of loneliness and isolation. And I'm not saying Zoomers should go play Edward 40 hands, rob a convenience store, and knock up their favorite high school dropout, but instead, I think they should start riding bikes. By riding a motorcycle, you automatically gain the kinship and solidarity of practically everyone else on a bike. There are certainly more insular groups within the motorcycling community, but for the most part, most riders are just excited to be on two wheels and able to share that experience with other people who appreciate it. There are, of course, more traditional motorcycle meetups, group rides, and bike nights, but there is even a super rich online culture of motorcyclists too. Every type of bike has dozens of forums with diehard fanatics. The Yammy Noob Discord server really is a great microcosm of the modern motorcycling community. There are people of all age groups, riding styles, cruiser boys, track day junkies, adventure guys, and everyone gets along and shares idea, even that one femboy that we have in there, and the anime people, and the furry people. But that, yeah, my point being, motorcycling is a great way to connect with other people, and the types of people who ride and engage in these communities are far more diverse than you may expect. Motorcycling is also an incredibly rewarding experience as you continue to challenge yourself and grow as a rider. To be able to see a clear, positive trajectory in your riding ability provides a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. This continued growth helps you gain confidence in yourself as a rider. As you keep on riding, you'll be able to see the the way in which your riding skills improve season after season. Certain fundamentals will become second nature, and you'll find yourself being able to tackle certain riding situations with ease. Your pace on spirited rides may increase as your understanding of proper technique grows. A constant pursuit of growth as a motorcyclist will also provide you with more opportunities to expand your motorcycling repertoire. Your advanced skill set will allow you to safely try faster and more exciting motorcycles. You may choose to explore other disciplines as well, such as off-road or track day riding. But by choosing to enrich your motorcycle experiences further, you may also begin to take longer and longer motorcycle rides, exploring new areas outside your comfort zone. It's also incredibly valuable and rewarding to pursue more advanced rider training. There are many highly reputable motorcycle schools that offer insight and education far beyond what learning in your MSF Basic Riders course. Learning advanced skills and techniques from a professional rider during one of these courses will make a night and day difference in your ability as a motorcyclist. Even the instruction you will receive from a rider coach at your local track while pertinent to track riding can have a lasting positive impact in your ability in everyday motorcycling as well. Motorcycling provides an endless pursuit of mastery that can provide a real sense of accomplishment and satisfaction to the rider. One of the greatest reasons we ride motorcycles is for the thrill. There's no question that navigating risky and dangerous situations provides a person with a sense of excitement and accomplishment. Due to the inherent risks and dangers associated with motorcycle riding, it's important that we do what we can to mitigate those risks, like finally honing your fundamental riding skills, being incredibly perceptive of other motorists, and of course, wearing proper riding gear. And thanks to the crash detection system, Cardo has pioneered the new pack Talk Pro, you can be that much safer while out on the road. The Backtalk Pro unit has a built-in IMU that measures acceleration and velocity. When paired with the Cardo Connect smartphone app, this data is continuously recorded and analyzed to determine whether or not a crash has occurred, much like the systems found in airbag vests, to rule out false positives an alert is sent to the rider's phone. If not cleared, an automatic text including the rider's GPS location will be sent to a predetermined emergency contact, accelerating the rate at which they may be able to receive receive life-saving medical attention. While the risky nature of motorcycles is part of what makes them so fun, taking proper safety precautions is of course necessary. And the crash detection system in the Pack Talk Pro offers peace of mind not just for the rider, but for their loved ones as well. If you'd like to learn more about all the other features found in the Pack Talk Pro and potentially add one to your arsenal of riding gear, hit the link down below and use the code YNCARDO to receive 10% off of your order. Big thanks to Cardo for supporting what we do here on the channel. Now let's get back to the video. Riding a bike will also 
allow you to feel tapped into a greater sense of cultural heritage. We, of course, recognize brands like HD and Indian rely heavily on heritage and nostalgia in their branding, and that has been seemingly successful for a long time as riders feel a sense of cultural relevancy by owning and riding a motorcycle from one of those manufacturers. But there are really cultural ties and historical connotations to so many different motorcycle brands beyond what you might expect. Triumph is another master in channeling the heritage of British motorcycling with their modern classic line of bikes based on the Bonneville, a bike that's been in production since about the 1950s, if memory serves me correctly. Ducati has a rich history of motorcycle racing excellence. They even have a brand that carries significance and value beyond just the performance of their machines. Even the Kawasaki Ninja, a line of motorcycles that are by all means wholly modern and contemporary machines, usually uh, equated with Kyle's, but they carry weight and notoriety from the legacy that Kawasaki's created from producing record recognizable green sport bikes for the last 40 years. We're getting a little bit heady and conceptual here, but what else is the last third of a video for, you know? I mean, come on, you're here with me, I'm supposed to have some fun too, right? But motorcycles, not unlike exotic sport cars and other designer goods, do provide the consumer with a sense of belonging that you may not expect. Riding a motorcycle from a particular brand makes you feel like you're kind of in on it, you know? Like, you get it, you're tapped into the legacy, you're clued into what the brand represents, the heritage that carries with the name. That's just another thing that makes the motorcycle quote unquote cool. Like, yeah, bikes are fast and fun, but they're also cool. And I think the heritage of motorcycling and the legacies of some of these notable brands contribute to that. That's kind of one of the downsides of bikes like companies from CF Moto. While they may be perfectly fine in their value and build quality, they don't have that X factor that so many people are attracted to. All in all, motorcycles are just generally therapeutic. You hear the old joke, you never see a motorcycle parked outside of a therapist's office. But really, encompassing everything we've talked about, motorcycling can offer so many benefits to a person. It serves as an opportunity to de-stress, the required focus clears the mind and reduces anxiety, while the adventure and freedom associated with riding provides an exhilarating break from daily stressors. You hate your job? Commute on a bike, and maybe you'll hate it slightly less. At the very least, it will allow you the opportunity to decompress on the way home and not bring the stress of the workplace into your home life. Do wheelies and forget your feelies. The adrenaline rush and sense of accomplishment from mastering riding skills can boost mood and happiness, aided by the physical activity stimulating endorphin release. Riding also encourages mindfulness, as the concentration requires and promotes being present in the moment, akin to a meditative, zen-like experience. Additionally, the social aspect of motorcycling, whether through group rides or online communities, fosters a sense of belonging and support, further enhancing mental well-being. Overall, motorcycling offers not just a thrilling experience, but also a range of mental health benefits, including including stress reduction, mood enhancement, mindfulness, social connection, and a sense of achievement. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end, boys. This was a nice, wholesome video that was fun to make. Even as an experienced motorcyclist who is immersed in the industry for work and pleasure, it feels nice to be able to reflect on these topics and remind myself why it is I love motorcycling so much. It's changed my life for the better, and I can't imagine it without it. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you all later. Fact, your pinky is the strongest finger. Goodbye. You've made it to the end of another Yammy Noob video. As a treat for you, I will clue you into the best way to support the show, and it's by going over to yammynoob.co and signing up to win this GSX 8R. It's not for very long, time is running out to win it, so make sure you head over to the website and go and check it out. But in the meantime, you can watch this next video right over here and keep indulging in some sweet, sweet squid content.